Well, there is a new millionaire in the Granite State. New Hampshire lottery officials say someone won $1 million on their Powerball ticket last night, but that person has yet to come forward. The winning ticket was bought at this Hannaford on Fort Eddy Road in Concord. We asked shoppers today about their champagne dreams. Redo the house. The house <laughs> needs to be done. I'd redo my home. I'd probably give it to my granddaughter so she can go to the school. That's so nice. Would you give her the entire No, house? no, no, no. I'd have to travel a little too. I have a lot of debt from school, so I have my undergrad and graduate loans, so that's a lot. But this financial planner says a million dollars is not as life altering as most people think. A million dollars is not what it used to be. Mark Hebert says a good chunk of money goes straight to the government. I would guess on average, if you were in a very low tax bracket, you may pay 35 cents on a dollar to Uncle Sam. So that's about $350,000. He says the first thing to do with your million dollar paycheck is to stick it in the bank, avoid spending or gifting anyone right away. The next step, figuring out how to actually retire on your new income. It's worth about $40,000 a year. They can take out only about 4%. Not a lot to live on, but not bad, he says, if you have other assets. Or if you plan to live within your means, like this woman who told me she wouldn't touch too much of that million dollar paycheck. I like where I live, and I've done a lot of traveling, so I think I'd just hold on to it and think about it. I like her. Well, again, New Hampshire Lottery is waiting to hear from that million dollar winner. And that person matched all five numbers, only missing out on Powerball. So I'm sure soon we'll find out who that lucky person is. We sure will. There's no doubt about that. Yeah.